All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over custom intent audiences in Google Ads, how you can use them for your display and video campaigns, and basically the difference between the two kinds of custom intent audiences. So the first thing I wanna do is show you come to tools, go to audience manager under shared library when you come into your AdWords account, and click the tab over here, custom audiences. So this is gonna show all of your custom intent and custom affinity audiences that you've created. So if we come to custom intent, you have two options here. You can do in-market keywords or you can do Google search terms. So Google search terms at this time is only used on the video network, whereas in-market keywords is only used on the display network. So if you create these audiences, you're only gonna be able to use them for those campaigns at this time. Uh, that might change over time, it probably will, um, but just keep that in mind as you're creating these campaigns and you're creating these audiences. So I wanna show you some of mine real quick. So first I have a custom intent with in-market keywords for beach decor. So what I did was I entered a bunch of beach decor keywords here, and it's gonna give me a bunch of ideas. It's gonna show audience size over to the right. So this is actually a really small audience size. So what I'd wanna do is keep adding to it. So come to ideas and just keep adding all of these different keywords. Just make sure it's all related. So we'll add all of them here. See if our audience size gets any bigger. So no bigger, so we might have to come back and add even more, but we'll just click save for now. So next, I want to show you marketing websites. So this is another custom intent in market keywords. So we can add keywords and URLs. So you can see I have a combination of a bunch of URLs, a bunch of keywords. I can keep adding more keywords here. Um, I can maybe say, okay, I want to do search engine optimization and PPC advertising. So I can add some more keywords related to PPC to get other ideas that are more related to PPC advertising. Um, and then come down here and just click save. So really what you want to do is add a bunch of URLs, add a bunch of keywords that are all related to create a custom intent audience of people who are actively researching products and services. So we'll click on save. So those two audiences here in market keywords, custom intent are both going to be used for the display network. Now here, Google search term PPC, what we're able to do is target people who are searching these keywords in Google and target them with our video advertisement. So we take Google search terms PPC, we enter a bunch of different keywords here. You wanna add at least 50 different keywords. So if you add 50 keywords, you'll have enough here for Google to be able to create a big enough audience for you that you can actually target on the Google video network. So we'll click save. So now coming over to our campaign, we have a display campaign over here. And what I wanna do is click on add a new ad group and show you just some of the different options you have. So what you wanna do is come down to audiences and click here what they are actively researching or planning. So you could either do in-market, so we just did a tutorial about in-market audiences. You can use your custom intent audiences that you've already created, so beach decor keywords, marketing websites, or up at the top here is custom intent audiences auto-created. So once you start getting some data for your campaign, you're entering your website and everything in Google Ads, Google's gonna give you auto-created intent audiences that you can use in your campaign. So we have web advertising services here. So we click on it, if you scroll over it, you can see it's, you know, this audience was automatically created based on my search traffic. So basically the search traffic that my website is getting. So it's going to pull up all these different keywords related to my website. Um, and it's saying my targeting reach per week is 7.3 million impressions. So that's plenty to get started with targeting for this campaign. So what I would want to do if I'm targeting is set this up as one ad group, you know, go through, create the ads, everything, and then set up marketing websites as a second ad group. Now, obviously, Beach Decor keywords would be separate, um, but one thing I want to show you is if you click something like Beach Decor keywords and it says your campaign may be too restrictive to serve, so click one of your custom intent audiences, says too restrictive, you need to add more keywords to it. Just expand it a little bit to get make it a little bit more broad so you have enough impressions per week where you can actually run your advertisements. Now, the other option is you can just create custom intent audiences right when you're creating your campaigns. So set up audience name, enter related keywords and URLs. I prefer to do that just in the audience manager. So you can just do that in the audience manager, publish it here, and then use it in your campaign. So that's pretty much it with display campaigns. I generally use one per ad group. So we'll do web advertising services, go through, click save, do the same exact thing with the ads and everything and click marketing websites, go through, click save, and kind of test them against each other, see what performs better. Now on YouTube, we have a YouTube campaign open here. Um, so we just have an audience. So what we're gonna do is click on to add a new audience, mess with our targeting a little bit. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Um, and then what they're actively researching or planning, same exact thing. So it doesn't have any auto-created ones here, but we do have our custom intent audience with our Google search terms PPC. So we're gonna click on that. And that's gonna put our custom intent audience over here. Click on save. 
Okay, so now we're targeting our custom intent audience here, Google search terms PPC with our video campaign. So that's able that's going to be able to let us target people who are actively searching keywords in Google with our video campaign. So it's a great way to reach people who are actively looking for our products and services. So custom intent audiences definitely worth testing. Uh, they're similar to in-market audiences, but they're going to be more created for your products and services for your niche. So there's no real custom there's no in-market audience for something like beach decor. So someone who's actively searching for beach decor, you generally have to target people who live in beach towns who are looking for home and garden products. So rather than doing that, what you can do is create your own beach decor type audiences for your own brand, whatever it is that you're targeting, your products and services. You can create your own custom intent audiences and use them in your display campaigns and your video campaigns. So highly recommend using them. I wouldn't be surprised if they allow you to eventually use them in search campaigns, so you can use in-market audiences in your campaigns already. So that's something that you definitely want to do if you haven't done it yet. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our channel.